Another great day. I got some on script, off script stuff I'm thinking about. I've talked about it before. But, uh, you know, man, these people, these gurus, these black power organizations and things, man, so many people are bought, planted, even. It's not what it seems. You know what I mean? Like, you, you sort of don't know who to trust. You can trust somebody that's been in their lane and stayed in their lane dependable. You know what I mean? No matter what's going on in the times, year after year, uh, you know, whatever segment of time you're measuring, you know, time after time at the time, they stay on their, on their same path. I'm going to say something on the order. I don't want to give no praise to nobody. And then they're going to flip the script on them because they will ex figure out a way. Whatever flaw or weakness you may have, shit, you better, hopefully, none. But, you know, say like KRS-1, public enemy, they stay the same. To, you know, time after time, whenever they're dropping, it's the same same, the same thing, the same theme, the same message. It mostly never changed. Nobody's perfect now. You know, people, they may say shit that I don't agree with. I don't know, you know, whatever. Sometimes, and sometimes we say things and we learn different later on, you know. There's all of that, like, in there. But, you know, uh, and there's others besides just them, but I'm, I'm going to name them because that's the more out there ones, you know, people we know, the name you know. We have been misled so much. It's, it's, uh, it is what it is. That's what, that's what the fuck. But I'm thinking, hold, let me, I don't have no notes, no nothing. Hopefully I can articulate this the best way possible, short or sweet and everything. But you know, in particular, I'm going to say Total Clown, I'm not sure, but the brother, Dr. Umar Johnson, seemed like a fucking clown. Very kind artist, like, motherfucker is trying to be more of a celebrity, a social media influence or whatever than anything seemed like to me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop that right there and say that right there. Um... Hopefully, just don't get too much traction. I don't know, man. I ain't trying to get on off nobody name or no beef or nothing. And it's kind of sad when you have um, high profile black people beefing and arguing and fighting each other. And it's going on all the time, every day on the Internet, you know, or wherever. And it's nothing new because a lot of the times people just beef regardless but a lot of the time it be the the plants the informants the ones that's put there by the man arguing with the other people and keeping the confusion going and um you know you got your boy what his name Tariq Nasheed the FBI agent suckering people to get into his group and get you to like what he's doing and then get the other pro people, right? Get them pro people on that plan, on that pattern, on that thing of, uh, you know, being in his movies. And they want to be in his movies so bad, you know, and everybody want, you know, they want that promotion. They want that recognition. While I was in Hidden Colors 27, we ain't do shit, but I was in it. All we do is talk about it and put it out there and show you things that you didn't know to piss you off that you can't do nothing about. And don't get me wrong, it's history and all that stuff has an importance to it. But I would say, where are you going with this? You know, let's go somewhere with this. Um, but nobody's perfect. Maybe I got it all wrong. Did I, did I do that? I don't think he did it. I, I, it seemed like the brother 
might be a damn good researcher or put his uh editor filmmaker whatever you put his shit together very well but who knows it might have just been gifted to him by the man and a whole team of motherfuckers might have put that shit together a whole team of government agents put that shit together in a particular way for a particular effect how about that because you could sit there watching all them motherfuckers spinning your wheels going nowhere just getting pissed off and never do nothing we need solutions is what we need more than that. We need that, but we need to put some solution behind that. And I, you know, maybe it's there. I never got into watching them hitting colors, you know, to tell you the truth. I don't, I, I, I wonder, I think perhaps that's funny because I watch stuff like that, but I never got into that. I never felt I got a bad vibe off that dude. Perhaps subconsciously and I didn't even realize it and then with that shit with Tommy Soto Mayor, Mayor which I think most people didn't see I happened to see that when he was pretending to be his friend and you know like they had that beef thing where he called his uh, really nice house a struggle mansion you know what I mean I don't, I don't forget exactly if it's two story or whatever I don't know if he had a pool it was a nice house, I do know that. And he called this shit a struggle mansion and it wasn't a compliment. I mean, in, in some regards, it could be a compliment, you know, from the right person or whatever. But you know, once you put struggle in it, it kinda, you know, I don't know, a beginner. You know, I, I, I don't know exactly what you would call it. You know, so like that, like right there, maybe that. Is a, is, a, is a struggle mansion The shit right behind me You see it Right there Like really I gotta have an actual mansion For your approval Black pride You know he put him down He called him crispy He got a whole puppet That he called blackness or You know like That don't add up That don't make no sense That's not no pro black power person talking about people for being black you too black you so black you know blah 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 that shit played out i mean you know nobody i see doing that shit but michael blackson and maybe somebody else i mean them type of jokes is it had their place that shit corny now you know and might be laughing at itself about it you know what i mean he made fun of his own blackness, but you're making fun of other people's blackness at the same time. And there's a certain segment of people that do that stupid shit. I'm not, I'm not with that. That, that's, once again, what are you doing? That made me think you're Asian, for sure. Anybody that do that, and that nigga is definitely that brother, is definitely Asian. Tariq Nasheed is an Asian, planted by the government to infiltrate the black community and get some, um, like that movie, Hive. He's, he, he, that's what he got, that's what he had. He actually have a hive that, that might kill for him. They, they totally dedicated to that cult. But I was, wasn't even talking about him, I was talking about Dr. Umar Johnson, but both of them motherfuckers, man, are in the same boat to me. I don't trust neither one of them, because you know, what are you doing, bro? What am I doing, right? You know, I, man, I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm, I, well, I'm doing what I'm doing. So are they? Nah, I'm, I'm talking about health, talk about fitness, I talk about mental health. I'm doing these things. I'm, I'm putting us in the, in the fact of what we need to get whole. Nobody don't really want to hear it. And eventually, you know, I'm making video after video after video, eventually. I'll write a book, eventually I'll put a package together with a proper video, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. And I ain't talking about just talking about what they did to us, man. Like what we, it's, you got to know your past so you don't repeat it. But man, we gotta get up out of this shit. We gotta find better ways to move forward. Make a make a hidden colors about that shit. 
period you know moving forward this is what to do this is what people are doing this is how we can hook up with those people blah 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 that shit is distraction and the same thing with that umar johnson with that fucking school that take 20 years to make a school and getting all kind of donations and i ain't gonna lie i ain't donate shit not one penny i'm not gonna front or did i Fuck, it's been so long, I might have donated something way back in the day and uh, forgot about it, to tell, you, to tell you the truth. I mean, I could have donated $20 or something, you know, something small. And it's been so long, yeah, I would have forgot about it. Because he on here talking trash, criticizing us, telling us who to be with, what to think. Not suggestions. I mean, you know, a suggestion you could tell. When my uncle getting mad and going off and spitting and sweating and shit while they're talking, man, that ain't, I mean, we all have our own mind, but he's not saying it as if we have our own mind. And they're talking about us black people in particular wanting to show off and be better than other people. That's why we buy a Mercedes more than other groups of people. And I would dispute that. I want to see where that data is. I, 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 I might look for it myself one day to see if it actually exists, but it seems like a fucking fat lie. They, they, are they really documenting the, the nationality of the people that's buying their vehicles? I mean, is, is, is that real? I never knew such a thing, but no, man, that's false information. That's misinformation. Think about it. In the first place, they're not making them calls for us. And then in the second place, you're talking about in the United States, I would imagine, because you ain't got the data for all the black people or everywhere. What about what? How about that? And then furthermore, there's a lot of luxury cars, all different levels and classes. And I'm gonna guarantee you, bruh, they ain't making, they making zero of them with black people in mind. Those luxury cars, uh, 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 hundred thousand dollars, one point something million dollars, whatever, Lamborghinis, uh, Rolls Royce, all, uh, you know, what about that? Who's buying that in high proportion? Who buy the most Volvos? You know, say like similar cars to a, a Mercedes Benz. Who buys more Volvos? Like why? Like why I put that false information out there? Like they, they, that's the same class: Volvos, Audis, um, you know, Beamers, and other other cars. There's other cars that's way above those cars. Who buying them? Not us. Yeah, it's a handful of people that may buy them. And they had, you know, like rappers and entertainers and shit. Uh, athletes. And that's how their ass go broke, buying shit they, they can't afford. It, it's going to be what it's going to be in the end. But people that may, I, I, you might stretch yourself thin. I've, if you keep it and you have it, however barely you can afford it. You might barely be able to afford it. But you can afford it. You figure out a way to make sacrifices to afford what you want. And furthermore, that's dumb shit. Because motherfuckers have Toyota Corollas and Kias and shit. And can't afford them. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at as, as a people. There's people that can't afford no kind of car. They got to figure out a way to get one. They can't afford rent and other things, but they gotta figure out a way to do it. That's some stupid shit to say, man, you know, because in some circles, just having a car and the other, no one else have one is, is putting you miles above the other blacks. Not on purpose, you just want something. Why I can't want a particular kind of car or I wanna outshine all the other black people and feel better than them? You know, like that way of framing it, 
maybe I want to feel good about myself and it's not even considering, you know, me having to be better than somebody else to, to feel good about myself. I can't, I can't want that. I can't just want to ride in that and not even be thinking, oh, I'm better than him. That's got to be the thought. Like, I've been there. Like, we programmed to be thinking that stupid shit. But even, even if it were true, it's not exclusive to us. And I'm sure it's true for some people. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's, it probably have to be. It's the reason why they got the chain. And furthermore... You know what I mean? Like all this flashy shit, they ain't made exclusively for us. It's very, some of that iced out shit, I give you that. They see what you like and they give you what you like. And the lines of that, trinkets and shit, bullshit. We ain't making no car for you. I seen a Lamborghini movie, the Ford and, and this one and that one. Man, them people make cars for them. Oh, Shelby, Mustang. How much that car, you know what I mean? Like, that's the thing we don't realize. They have cars cost the equivalent price of a Mercedes, but it's not a Mercedes. It don't look like a Mercedes. How much them fucking Jeeps cost? Them Rubicon Jeeps and different things like that. Man, that shit just pissed me off. Because like I say, it's just so many levels that I could dig into that. Motorcycles cost a lot of money. People be on shit that we, you know, well, that black people have motorcycles, but people be on shit that we not on. They have things and put value in things. Other things it might not be a chain, but it's going to be something equivalent to a chain. You dig? Don't be fooled. Everybody, everybody have people with amongst them that want to let that be what they're wearing or what they have. You know, it's their worth. It ain't just black people. That's stupid. And for psychologists to be saying things like that, man, like I say, I and I could think deeper and deeper and deeper with it. The deeper I go with it, the more unintelligent that sound. And but that makes it. In a, but on the other hand, on the flip side, it makes sense because psychologists. A school psychologist. You're a school psychologist at that. You're a psychologist, but you're for children, juveniles. That's your area of expertise, bruh. And anybody can read a book and study a book. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is part of the system. That's part of the uh, industrial medical complex big pharma all that shit is part of big pharma so you're a fool that's sorry but that's this shit that's shit to keep us in bondage what you need a a, a, a counseling therapy for anyway because they the shit is so bad you know what i mean things are so bad so terrible so horrible so hopeless people need counseling they didn't need counseling in, in no, on no island, on paradise. If things were running the way they're supposed to run, nobody need no counseling. It wouldn't be a fact. People wouldn't feel hopeless. They designed this this way. And, they, and that shit ain't designed to help you. It's designed to help them and make money. And you part of the system that's just designed to help the system and make money. And you're trying to throw that shit in the hour shit and you know what I mean hey man it's a good kind I'm gonna knock the hustle because the hustle is knocking us it's a good kind it sounds good to people that's not thinking it makes sense because we've always said that you know it's always a thing to say what okay well that that's stupid because once again, I'll go back. Shit, they were saying that people with Cadillacs, fuck. You know what I mean? Or the preacher with the Cadillac. But that's all good.
And the point is about the preacher with the Cadillac or whatever fancy car he have is that the congregation ain't got that shit. Once again, talking about that. Whereas just having a car is something. Yeah, so there's some circles just having anything is something. Just having a job, just having dreams and goals is wanting to be better than everybody else. And they put you down for it. And then if you show up, he perpetuating that shit. That's, that's the shit I was talking about with Bob Proctor. Talking about Bob Proctor, the white man. But with the same, see what I'm saying? With that same type of mentality, right? The hood, the neighborhood, the boys in the hood. Everybody, all his friends, all his partners had that same poor man mentality. It's back in the day now, but it's still going on now. And he had, he ain't have to, but he felt that he had to because he was ashamed that he was becoming successful and he would park his car, Bob Proctor would park his car around the block so that his friends wouldn't see him getting out this nice car. How about that? So it ain't just us, man, but if you put that out there like that, if all you focus on in that regard is us, then that's all you're gonna see is us. You open your mind and expand it and see that, um, we following behind them. Or, you know, it's a part of human nature and some people are gonna be that way. Some people are gonna be hoarders. Some people are gonna, you know, there's all different types of people and personalities, man. Everybody ain't about showing off just cause whatever, whatever. And then a lot of people can truly afford those fucking cars, you know. They're not stretching themselves out. But all that shit's the American way. Americans are in debt. Americans. When, that don't mean black people. Americans. When they say that, they ain't, actually ain't talking about you at all. You know, maybe a little bit. I'm going to do this again. I mean, I guess that's the part of just saying on the same thing. I'm going to make another one and hopefully I get it better I, hopefully this is good enough actually but i still want to make another one i want to make my point that these people explain us man we got to stop falling for that okie doke we got to lead ourselves stop working for a leader lead yourself be your own what you call it but we need still need the camaraderie we got to hook up got to link up we got to do it together but we could be our own leaders and do what we need to do, man. We need to get some land. We need to get some land. If nobody do it with me, I'm going to die trying if I don't do it by myself. And I'm going to die trying, trying to get somebody on board. So that's what's up with it. Oh, I'm going to wrap this up now. It's quite long. Hopefully y'all stay to the end. Appreciate you. And uh, my mouth. Peace.